Hello, Les from Thailand. Today's video is about be careful about getting cars repaired in Thailand. This is a personal story of, of what happened to me a couple of so weeks ago. Uh, I drive around in a, a seven year old Nissan Almira. Um, I always used to get it serviced at the Nissan garage, and now it's got 120,000 kilometers on it. I took it to a a non Nissan dealer to get a, some work done onto it. I got an oil change and one thing because Nissan were charging up to seven thousand baht for a, a service, which was just ridiculous. So, but even the local garage on the corner from me charged four and a half thousand baht for an oil change and a, a service just to look at it. And I, I it's just for Angland you know, rip the flang off or charge them more. But going on from there, um, my Almira, I've had three wheel bearings replaced on my Almira. It's one of the problems that you get with Nissan Almira, the wheel bearings don't last a lifetime that should do, but they don't. So I was getting a bit of a rumbling in the, in the car and I thought, okay, must be another wheel bearing. So I didn't take it to Nissan because I thought Nissan's going to charge me an arm and a leg to get it repaired. So I drove down into Rayong and there's there's a couple of garage like Cockpit and there's Be Quick uh, garages all over Thailand. So the cockpit was full, all the cars were in the bay, so I thought I'll drive on to the next one. So I went to a place called Be Quick and it was seven bays it had in this garage so i went in and i asked the, the guy i said i think i've got a rumbling with my wheel bearing do you mind having a look and they said i'll take an hour so we just went and had some lunch and come back and before we went before we went he said to my wife in thai obviously that because it's our first visit there, they were going to do a free inspection of the car. And my wife, not knowing anything about cars, just like looked and said, yeah, okay then, yeah, whatever. So two hours later, we went back and there's my car up on the ramps. All the wheels are off, all the brake calipers are off, everything's been disassembled and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what's going on here? So the guy comes out and he said, oh yeah, we said we found various problems with the car and uh, this is the list of things that need to be done to the car and then he showed me a list of, of shock absorbers, springs, um, suspension parts, whatever and the total bill came to, or his total estimate came to 28,000 baht and I said well, what's the wheel bearings like? What's the wheel bearings? That's what we brought it in for. He said, oh, the wheel bearings are perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. But all of these other problems need to be fixed. So obviously going through my wife and she doesn't know the name of car parts for, for translation between English. So we did a lot of pointing and pressing. And, and I asked the guy, what's wrong with the shock absorbers for the car? Which he suggested I needed two new shock absorbers. He said, oh, the old, the old, because your car's done more than 90,000 kilometers, we suggest you change them. They weren't, weren't leaking. They weren't broken in any way. <coughs> but they wanted to change them. I said, no, doesn't matter. <coughs> and then he showed me two bushes on a suspension arm at the bottom that were split. And so the two plates that needed to be replaced, he said at the cost of seven and a half thousand baht. I can't remember what they called these two swing arms at the bottom with the bushes on but the total cost to replace them two was seven and a half thousand baht. And then he said the tyres were coming up to the um, the bars on the tyres indicators to say that they wanting change and now I know that they were, they were getting close and so I asked for how much for four new tyres and he said 17,000 baht for four new tyres, um, including the rims. So now I bought, when I bought the four brand new tyres, they were a branded make, uh, Bridgestone, 
two years ago and I paid 8,000 baht for four brand new tyres. So the fact that he was going to charge me 17,000 baht for four new tyres and rims. And I said, why do we need to change the rims? And he showed us one dent on one of the rims, a small dent. And he said, old kaput. He said that they all want replacing. Well, steel rims last forever, just about. So when he said 17,000 baht for four new tyres and four rims, I said, just just forget about it. Put everything back together and we'll drive off. And just as a, as a matter of fact, I thought, okay, I'll call it the Nissan garage and go in and ask him to have a look at my car because we've been told that there's a problem. Went into Nissan, put the car up on the, on the ramps, had a look at everything, and he said the same thing about these bushes that were, that were split. And to replace them, Nissan parts was 4,500 baht. So 2,000 baht cheaper than Be Quick, who weren't going to use Nissan parts. It was a, a no-name part, but it did the same thing. So I just asked him how much it would cost to replace the, the front bearings because that's where I thought it was wrong. And they said 1,750 baht. And be quick, we charge me, we're going to charge me 1,950 baht for the same wheel bearing, a be quick. So the Nissan garages are the, you know, the, the name garages such as Toyota and things like that aren't as bad as what everybody thinks. I was quite shocked. So we came home and we went back to the garage that's local to us and asked him how much he would charge for replacing these two suspension arms at, at the bottom of the car. Bearing in mind, Nissan has told us four and a half thousand baht. The guy said I can replace them with non-Nissan parts for seven and a half thousand baht. And he said if you want Nissan parts it'll cost you 10,000 baht. I just said, yeah, okay, doesn't matter. Rang this end up and we booked the car in the following day. And because we booked the car in the following day, they give us a 10% discount. So the whole bill came to just a little bit over 4,000 baht. So it's just beware. Garages that aren't trade name or trade such as Ford or Toyota or Nissan or whatever still can charge you more than the than the proper garages you know the Nissan garages so be aware of the prices that they can charge just because you're a falang a foreigner living here so my advice is just go get it checked out by the garage first see how much they're going to charge and then just shop around and see what it was I was very shocked when Nissan came out the cheapest and I thought Nissan would have been the most expensive. Yes, also they do upsell at Nissan. I found out my 7,000 baht um, cost for changing the oil. They did an oil change. They just showed me a piece of paper which is all in Thai and what basically what that was was a oil flushing system. 450 baht for the flush of the oil of the engine and flush the oil of the gearbox. So there's like a thousand baht, over a thousand baht before they even start the service. So be aware of what you're paying for. Check before you go in and just say yes, just do it. So I'm very happy with the Nissan. Um, I did have my doubts that they were overcharging, but this experience with the, with the roller bearing or the wheel bearing has changed my mind a little bit but still be very, very cautious. So for all those people getting the cars checked out, be careful. So from Les, still living the dream in Thailand. Until the next time, bye for now.